Hi, hello, welcome to Navanto Day. So before we go to MS Studio, so our uh, website has been updated. So you can just, you can just explore this uh, website later. So now let us start building a new model. So let us go to MS Studio. So after coming into MS Studio, after entering into MS Studio, uh, so today we are going to build a model on rotten fruits classification. So you need to classify uh, a fruit which is uh, fresh and a fruit which is rotten. Okay, so these apply this can be applied in many uh, in other vegetables also, not just the fruits but also in vegetables and all. So the main area uh, you know, that they use this model is that in agriculture. It is very important and it is very major area that you know we can use this. And uh, in agriculture also, you know, detecting the fruit early is very important because if one fruit is damaged, then the surrounding fruits will also get, uh, you know, be damaged in a couple of days. So early prevention is, uh, you know, better. You know. For that, you can use this. It can also be used in a big, big storages, say, uh, any consumer uh, storage thing, say, for example, Amazon or eBay or something. So they need to uh, check the fruit before they delivery into the client's location or something so they can also use this models so that's how this model is used so that's uh, these are the simple examples uh, applications of uh, using this model okay so for this model i'm going to use efficient p2 using efficient p2 let us go to efficient p2 yeah click on next So this is how our uh, UI looks when you enter into the you know, building uh, model. So I'll just name it as a uh, uh, rotten fruits classification. I named it as rotten fruits classification. So I have what uh, two four classes in built. So let us name my first class as uh, fresh apple and second class as fresh banana. Similarly, third class I need to add it, add a class and then I need to name it again. So I'll name it as uh, a rotten apple. Similarly, I'll add one more class. Guess what the name of this class is? Yes, it's rotten. B and banana. Okay. So we have added four classes, which is rotten banana, a rotten uh, rotten apple, fresh banana, fresh apple. So we have four classes. So we're just uh, classifying between the uh, two fruits, okay? Which is fresh apple, which is fresh banana, which is rotten apple, and which is rotten banana. Let us go to fresh apple. Let us uh, upload images here. So there are 300 images. Fresh apple. We'll for fresh banana. We'll add more 300 images here. Banana too. There are 230 images, let me add it up. Move 70. Fresh banana, there are 300 images. I'll add uh, more 300 images in rotten apple. There are 300 images in rotten apple too. It has add uh, more than a dimension to the rotten banana. I'm sorry for that. So we have added three images in uh, rotten banana as well. So 
for rotten banana we have the red images similarly for rotten apple we have the red images fresh banana we have the red images and the fresh apple we have the red images okay so now we have added four classes now let us start training the model so click on start uh, training okay so the model has been trained successfully and uh, the accuracy we got is 97% and the validation accuracy we got is 100% okay so you can see here uh, so uh, we have uh, four classes uh, in fresh apple fresh banana rotten apple rotten banana like we have three we have added three new images we have trained trained three new images and this is a first version one okay you can just go to fresh banana also like Uh, you can see the banana photos you can see rotten images photos it is loading uh, similarly uh, rotten bananas also we have uh, added these images okay now let us start the testing phase the training phase is done let us go to testing phase now let us test this model like is it how well it is working so how confident are we to expose this model okay start it's not ready it's start testing Yeah. Choose file. So we're going to choose a image. As you can see, I've added a ripened uh, banana or a rotten banana, whatever. So I've added it, and I wanted uh, the model to test it, and it is testing it correctly, and uh, the prediction score is ninety two percent. So it, the model is confident that you know this. image of uh, rotten banana is 92% confident that this is rotten banana only similarly let us try to add other uh, you know image yeah we can see that the model has predicted or uh, you know confident that this image of rotten apple you know, it is rotten apple that we know but you know this image uh, you know we were we are testing the model we are testing the image of the model and it is 81% confident that this is a rotten apple got it similarly let, let us try a uh, fresh banana and fresh apple uh, two images yes you can see that uh, it is 87% confident that this is a fresh apple the model has tested the model has predicted Let us try banana. Yes, it is ninety-five percent confident that this is a banana image. Okay, so that's how the testing phase has done. So, if you want to uh, export this model, if you want to export this model, the similarly, if you just click on export model, we have uh, three phases for you, which is download model files. Download Docker image and download uh, deploy models API. So we also provide API services, uh, end-to-end API services also. So this is how uh, the model creation has took place. We'll train the model by adding the data, and we test the model by testing the model with adding some of the images. And the final one is exporting the model to integrate uh, this model with a local environment. Okay. Thank you guys. See you with other model next week. next week